Hey, what is up guys? This is Asam back again with another video and in this video I am going to show you how to add Matplotlib in your Kiwi app, okay? So if I run this program, let's see. Okay, here is the graph that we can see and I add a button to save the figure. Now I am going to make this project from scratch, okay? Let's begin, okay? I created a blank python file and a blank kiwi file okay let me close the close the other one okay i'm going to split this to the right okay now open up your terminal first of all you have to install kiwi garden so for installing kiwi garden simply type pip install kiwi garden okay i already installed it so requirements are already satisfied and then i'm going to install the matplotlib okay garden install matplotlib okay okay this is also already satisfied okay now what i'm going to do is first of all let me import the app class okay from kiwi.app after that i'm going to import the float layout so from kiwi.uix dot float layout import float layout after that i'm going to import the builder module okay so from kv dot lang import builder after that what i'm going to do is from kv dot garden dot mat plot live okay mat plot live dot backend kv egg okay import what i'm going to import i'm going to import the figure canvas kv egg okay after that i'm going to import the pipe plot okay so from matplotlib dot pipe plot as oh, sorry guys my bad import matplotlib dot pipe plot as plt i just renamed it as plt after that let me clear create a class called demo and this class is going to inherit from the foot layout class okay i'm going to pass in this class now and then i'm going to add a main class okay and this main class is going to inherit from the app class okay let me add the bl function okay then here i'm going to load what i'm going to load i'm going to load the layout yt dot kb file okay and then i'm going to return my demo class okay and let me run this by this run method okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to add some function to our plt okay so for that let me set the x axis okay this is going to be four dimension uh, you can do whatever you want uh, as you wish but i'm going to set it one two three and four i just added four dimension to my x axis and then in y axis let me add the value of y axis okay let's say five i'm going to add some random numbers okay okay i just add added four random list okay uh, now what i'm going to do is i'm going to plotting this x and y axis okay by this plot method okay and then i'm going to set the level of y axis is let's say y axis and then i'm going to set the level of x axis let's say x axis okay after that i'm going to add this plot to to my demo class okay 
so for that I am going to load this demo class in my kb file and then here I am going to add a box layout and I am going to identify this box layout as box and I just want the size hint of y axis should be 0.8 and the position will be at the top of the screen okay let me set the position as top okay now I'm going to add another box layout okay uh, let me load this box layout okay I'm going to load this box layout in this demo class so uh, so that I could I can add this plot widget to this box layout okay so for that I must initialize the demo class okay define initial I'm going to initialize this and let me pass the keyword arguments okay and then I'm going to supercharge it okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to access the box ID okay access the box ID using this self dot id's dot box now i'm going to add widget to this box okay add widget what i'm going to add i'm going to add let's say i'm going to add this plot by this figure canvas kv egg okay okay i'm going to call this and here i'm going to load this as plt dot gcf okay now let me run this program and let's see what happens there is an error okay i uh, maybe i did a spelling mistake let's see okay this will be at lower case okay this i is going to be a lower lower case okay i did a spelling mistake now i'm going to run this okay let's see oh uh, sorry guys this is also going to be in lower case i just forgot it okay we just got the graph and this is a blank screen now I'm going to add a button here okay so for adding a button here I'm going to set the uh, let's say uh, here I'm going to set the size hint of y axis as 0.2 and then I'm going to add a button here okay the button let me set the text of the button as save figure okay and I'm going to bind a function here okay on release what I'm going to bind I'm going to bind let's say save fig okay but I didn't add this function to our root class okay so I must add this function here so root dot root dot no, sorry guys my bad it will be save fig okay then I'm going to pass this class because I don't want any kind of uh, I don't want to add any kind of function right now let me run and let's check if it works or not okay we just got a button here okay now what I'm uh, what I want to do I want to save this graph uh, whenever the button is pressed okay so for that let me call the plt and then i'm going to save the figure so here is the figure save fig what i want uh, here i must pass uh, a argument what is the argument the argument is the image name let's say foo.jpg okay that's all I got and now I'm going to run this 
Okay, let's. Uh, I, I maybe I already have a footer JPG file now. I'm going to rename it as let's say foo1.jpg. Now let me run this. Okay, this is the graph. Now if I press this button. Okay, uh, something happened. Let's check. Here we got a foo one dot jpg, and we can s we can find the jpg file here. Okay, this is uh, what I got. Okay, guys, I think that's enough for today's video. And if you face any kind of problem executing your program or installing the flowers or anything else, just let me know in the comment section, and I will help you as I know. Okay. So, guys, keep watching. Goodbye.